It's my time, man. You watch me like a can, cause it's my time switch. They can't guard me, especially side the Barclays. It's been between crosses, I can score with both hands. Many flawless, and I get to paint like an artist. I'm a bar smith, so you should respect my handle. I see the big picture with the nets like a mantle. In the future, I see us as champs too. And when we do, I'ma do a Brooklyn dance move. The stir that whole Millie rock like a fan do. That's a bet like my parlay on FanDuel. Every day, what that looks like for you. Being steadfast, keeping your nerves, don't lose your shit. Jack Flow, you don't get no play in this, right? You done fucked that whole record up before you left, man. You ain't trying to hear that shit. Shout out to Joey, shout out to Claw Smith. Listen, man, I respect y'all, man, because y'all gotta be Nets fans just like me. Win or loss, we had, because. <laughs> We always losing, it seemed like, man. And I really didn't want to have to go through a season like this after, you know, after, uh, after, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what our run was, at least we were making the playoffs. I imagine we would continue to always be a playoff team as long as we are in Brooklyn. But that don't seem to be the case. We lose two more games, we out. It is that simple. It, it's not a, a complicated situation. We fit in to be out pretty goddamn soon unless we play harder than we playing. Uh, Joey had fills away. He says, "Big lies shook hands in Brooklyn." Who are you talking about, Joey? Who is Joey talking about, man? Who is Joey talking about in this comment? Um. Shout, shout to Claude Smith if I said that. Uh, yeah, man, I want to give a shout out to all of the members of this channel. You know, I appreciate y'all. So shout out to Joey BK, of course. Shout to New York Nets. Good uh, by Siakam. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me move this real quick. Oh, yeah. I mean, last minute. Yeah. Just prior yeah, to the man. Fuck, fuck the highlights. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout to the big dog hunting two guy go S R K A W N C Enterprise, uh, uh, Jack City, you know, what I'm saying, and, and Jellio. Uh, and if anybody that I miss, um, Jonathan, are you talking to Claude? Uh, Jay said, Bro, we don't deserve to make the playoffs. I ain't even mad at you, Jay. Shit is hectic out here, man. Trending Wafit, trending is trending though. Trending is trending. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and throw the link in the chat so we could talk. You know what I'm saying? I got. I, I'm. A, I, I just. We can recap the game real fast, but I'm gonna pull up the list for the uh, Cam Thomas uh, MIP conversation because I want to see how close he is. Last time I checked, he was seventh on the list. Um, I don't know if I agree with that. You know what I mean? I don't know if I agree with him being number seven on the list. Uh, so we'll see about that. He he has some, he had some stiff competition. Pause, <laughs> but it wasn't like they was light work. But I don't know if he should be seven. What up, Daniel? I see you. What up, Jay? Talk to me, Jay. What's good, bro? Chilling. You seen the game? Uh, yeah, I seen it. <laughs> yeah, shit was rough from the beginning, man. 43 points first quarter, like, damn. That's a fact. And I'm still planning on going to the next one, but 
That one, a Wednesday game you talking about? Yeah. But sheesh, man. If we going to get smack like this in the ball clays, I'm going to be tight. Facts, yo. Facts. Um, shit, man. This – this really looked like a bad game, man. I, I I don't I really don't like how they trying to make Cam Thomas and Mikhail Bridges a duo. They're not a duo, man. Carry Cam Thomas carries the offense, but for for what it's worth, you know you got uh you know, wow. She said I don't say a lot of things about Mikhail Bridges. Listen, I don't like his shot selection, man. I gotta be honest, man. His his shot selection is is terrible to me. Um. He take a lot of he I, see the middies. He made four middies. Okay, okay. He, I, don't middies. Mean, I said that, he got a lot of confidence in his shot, man. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, Joey. All right. What up, Joey? What up, man? Chilling. Hell, I ain't chilling. These nets has got me tight as hell. I be in real life. I'm chilling, but. Yeah, yeah, season yeah, been yeah. over though, Breezy. I mean, watch. I know you want to still believe you're gonna make the play, and this shit over, bro. I ain't even mad at you. Atlanta looked Atlanta won tonight, so yeah, they beat Chicago. Yeah, yeah, it's looking like it's it's yeah, all right. Man. We on borrowed time right now, Brody. Yeah, That's we right. done yeah. though. We we in the off season. Yeah. So so let's just get straight to it. Y'all, y'all heard what happened with Donovan Mitchell. I seen Jay send me the link the earlier. It don't look like he's committed to staying in Cleveland. Um, I think he comes to the Brooklyn Nets. I mean, it's a good possibility. I mean, what they said, I saw the Knicks. That's what, what I, I sent you earlier, bro. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, go to it right now. And I remember it was I, did, I did see something where uh, they said that uh, Donovan Mitchell agent told Woj right his preferred destination is Brooklyn. Right, right, right. right. That. But that, I, that's only a preferred destination, though. That'll mean you go get to go where you want to go. Right, right, right. I, I, mean, I, sent you that on a, I, I sent you that on Messenger, a, the screenshot of um, Jonathan saying that um, his preferred destination would be Brooklyn and that he didn't sign the extension with the Cavs. So it looked like mm-hmm. he going to be on the move, like he ain't trying to stay in Cleveland. Even um, though Dan Gilbert saying this, he ha- – even though I mean the owner's gonna say that, I mean the front office is gonna you know do whatever to try to save face. But Gilbert said that he's pretty confident that um that uh that old boy was signed the contract that Donovan Mitchell was signed the contract and stay in Cleveland. But however, actions speak louder than words. Donovan hasn't signed it yet, and he's, it might be a, it might be a negotiation tactic too. He might just want more money. Yeah, that's true. And then you know, you know how uh, Donovan gonna play. He gonna keep deferring it to more. I'm just trying to focus on playing basketball and winning with this team, and yeah. I'm gonna just wanna deal with that in the off season. You know yeah. what I mean? And knowing damn well he ain't trying to be there. He trying to, you know what I mean? Like, dude, like, I, I understand we Brooklyn, but I just don't understand at this point what would make a player want to play for this front office. I don't know. But sometimes it's not always about the um you know, it's a, it's, it's not about office. the front office. It's about, you know, where a person wanna be at. You know, Mitchell got to, he he's an L Mount kid. Like he grew up in New York, like in Nassau County. And yeah. his dad his dad literally has a job with the New York Mets. And you know what I mean? He probably just wanna come back home. He feel like, you know, yo. It's, it's a good location. I mean, location sells, man. But, it's like we got people every day like, why would anybody want to be in that shithole New York? But, you know, it's niggas that flock here every day, right? <laughs> yeah, nah, I know people love New York, but I don't know, man. The way that I'm watching these dudes move this team, I don't know if I would be confident, comfortable and confident yeah. putting my career in their hands. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it got to be multiple of things. You got to, you know, as a player, I would be first looking at if I'm going to get paid. Money's going to trump everything. The money got to be right. If the money ain't right, uh, and you're right got- about the fact that, like, if you want to be in a certain place, you'll do what you need to do to be there. Yeah, that's a fact. Mm-hmm. I that's get that. Fact. Especially if you're getting the money that you want, and you, mm-hmm. for your money is right, your location <laughs> is right. You know what I mean? And if you like who you playing with. You know what I mean? I don't know. I guess it all depends on the player. Certain things mean more 
to certain players than others. It depends on who you're talking to, and it also depends on where they at in their career at that time. I don't know. Yeah. Yo, hold on, hold on. Yeah, John just joined the um, panel. And I want to say, shout to John. After y'all finish, I was going to read his comment. I'll, I'll go ahead now. He says, best trade package is Cam Johnson, Nick Claxton, one of our prospect players in three first-round draft picks for Donovan Mitchell and Jared Allen. Cam Thomas' office could be elevated with Mitchell. I, honestly, I can't put no motion to that, Jonathan. I, I Anything with Claxton and trade, uh, I, I'm not with it. I'm going to keep it real with you. Then he also says, Mikhail Bridges, Cam Johnson, Donovan Mitchell, Jared Allen, and Trenton Waff is so be a fun rotation next season. Mitchell and Thomas running the office and Bridges as the third option most balanced. I don't see them trading us, Jared Allen, with the history that we have, Jerry wanted the bag. We didn't give it to him, but they Cleveland Cavaliers did. I don't think Jerry wants to leave the same way that maybe a Donovan Mitchell wants to leave. Yeah. But go ahead, John. Speak speak to your, your comments Not in the chat. Man. Talk first to me. Of all, first, I just want to say hi, guys. Yeah, like my whole thinking behind this is like, so Mitchell is probably one of our top options this summer. But the thing is this, if you just get Mitchell by himself, you know, we still have a, an issue. We don't have an actual sense. So the thing about Claxton is – he identifies more of a power forward than a center, and we need a guy that can handle big matchups. And the thing about the Cavs is both Jared Allen and Don Mitchell, they're not homegrown prospects from the Cavs. They both came. They were one side to deal there. The other was traded there. At the end of the day, when I look at the Cavs, Garland and Mobley are more of like those homegrown guys, but it feels like Mitchell and Allen kind of stunt their growth in a way, and I just don't see the balance of that team. That's why I would say like – I think the Cavs and Nets help each other out. We give them picks so they can go after a start a pair with Garland. We get a center in Allen, who we never should have traded in the first place, honestly. I think the Nets should really regret that. But having him back helps us with center matchups. And Mitchell, obviously, the scoring prowess, the athletic ability, the intangibles. He gets to be the head of his own team. Bridges John, gets, oh, hold on, yeah. that, John. Let's slow it down. But to my talking point, to, I'm debating yeah. your talking point about Jared Allen leaving Cleveland Cavaliers. I don't think that he wants to leave. You know, I don't think that yeah. he – why would he want to come to the teams that didn't give him the bag and opportunity because of DeAndre Jordan, for that matter? Yeah, yeah, that was so, – So that, my thing is they – Cleveland actually gave him the bag. I don't right. think he leaves that situation. Right, we'll, we'll see. I mean, obviously Mitchell would be our main guy, but the thing is, like, if you're the Nets, who can you, who can be a center? Because here's the thing. If they want to get a big man, it has to be through with the trade route because I we looked at uh, the free agent market for centers in the offseason. It's really bad. I mean, there isn't really some guy that's going to upgrade the Nets to where they want to be. That's why I would put Allen's suggestion. I mean, I think Mitchell is more the, of the realistic return than Mitchell and Allen, but I just want to put it out there to see, hey, if the Nets really want to get two problems solved, this is one route they can do it. I mean, I just think having both Mitchell and Allen, it elevates the Nets. Because if we just have Mitchell alone, I'm not sure if keeping Claxton is going to make our record better. Because like I said, he profiles better as a power forward defensively than a center. I think Claxton's defense would be way better if you know he moved to the power forward position. But then if he's not producing offensively, then the Nets have to make executive decisions on that. So that's why I would say, hey, if you trade Allen for Claxton, you don't have to worry about the Claxton stuff. You have a guy who can handle the defense. But you make a valid point. Maybe they don't want to trade him. Maybe they just keep Allen. But it's just something to put out there. That's yeah, why no, I, I put out there. I'm not, I'm not mad at the. I'm, I'm not mad at it. I, I'm mad at it. Shout out to John. Um, hit that like button for us. I, listen, I really feel like it don't. It don't got no motion to keep it real true. And I don't. Mm -hmm. Donovan Mitchell, he does need a big to play with. He had a big with Gobert in the West. He got right. two big for Mobley and Jared mm -hmm. in the East. Um, we're gonna have to match that. And I just think if the Nets are gonna put it together, it's gonna be a lot of how I would say uh, good good work by by Sean Marks. Now he's he's the guy. And again, I looked at the different positions to say who does what. The assistant general manager, the assistant GM, the guy that went to how you say to the Charlotte uh, Hornets to be the GM, he is the guy that is responsible for scouting college talent. He was someone that will pretty much get the credit for getting a Cam Thomas on the roster, Daron Sharp, and etc. Now that being said. Sean Marks, the GM, he handles the free agent contracts and the players' contracts for that matter, and the coaching contracts for that matter, um, for the most part. So that's his his focus. His focus. He's missed on a lot of that. I don't right. know if he's in a situation. I, I don't know if he's going to be in a situation. So again, my thing is like again, he has to be better. He has to be better being able to put um, 
himself in a situation. Um, he has to be better to put himself in a situation to have the advantage at the end of the negotiations. Because right now he just looked like he getting duped. You know what I mean, hey, here's here's a here's a couple of things that I see. You know, that's kind of far fetched about about your scenario. Um, first of all, who the hell is to say? that the Cavs are even going to want Cam Johnson for that fucking, especially for that contract. Second of all, okay, we move in Allen for, uh, for Claxton. Allen's getting paid about a hundred something million dollars, right? Um, you're going to move Claxton. Claxton is also looking to get paid. Who's to say the Cavs are going to want to want Claxton, want to pay Claxton. You know what I mean? Um, also, I mean, Allen's cool and all of that, but I still think he's still kind of soft. Yeah, you know, he may have matured and 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 um and and got you know you know mentally and physically, but I still think he's kind of soft, man. Um, no, you're not wrong for saying that. I just think for the Nets right now, the the big goal should be to get a big. But just thing, if you keep Claxton. I think moving him to the power four position benefits his defense because he doesn't have to always guard the, the center. But yeah, you gotta you gotta say this, John. We with you at Clax at four. Right. Yeah, we, we, Garrett we, Allen we. at five. We, I'm not Jack. Yeah, but, 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 but the God, thing God. is, God. who's available? That's why it's just yeah. out because the only way yeah. they're gonna get a big is through a trade. Look at the free agent market. There's Montrez Harrell, and that's it. There really isn't a center in the free agent market yeah, that's John, gonna elevate John, the Nets. John, John, we get it. Like we get it. It's it's, mm -hmm. a, it's, a, it's a rough thing with Clax because. We always say on his, this show that he's stuck between a four and a five. Right. He's too little to be a five, but at the same time, he doesn't have, have the polished offensive skill sets to be a four. He can't shoot, can't uh, stretch the floor. I think we got to feed him the more you know the ball I mean? more on that pick and roll, bro. I, I'm yeah. serious. Yeah, See, but we, need a, we need a point guard. No, Breezy's right. Breezy, Breezy's right. Hold on, Joey. So not only, but I'm saying you need and you, know, you need a special type of big to play next to Clax. You need a big who can fucking help him in the interior, and he need to be able to shoot. Because Joey, you can't have like two, five, you can't have two bigs on the bro. you can't have two bigs on the floor that can't shoot. Obviously, but, no, no, no. but hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm saying is that shit is ridiculous. Them only giving Clax five attempts at the basket is is unacceptable, bro. That's also. that's that's a, a mistake. McClack should be touching the ball more than Cam Johnson. He should be the third option, bro. No, also. the second option. He's, oh no, the third option it should be Cam Thomas, Schroeder, and then I Clax. agree with that. Also. They should be running the pick and roll with Clax and then find oh. the, the wing with Macau Bridges. And, and no, Bree, Breezy, you're not wrong. But the thing is, this also Claxton should be bulking up at this stage of his career. He's been in the league five years. He's Absolutely. still at the weight he was kind of in at, when he began his career in the NBA. And the thing is, this you got to be a lot bulkier okay, against right. these big sensors. John, 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 he. Let, I don't. Y'all don't want you to shit on him that bad. He's gained about 15, 20 pounds That's since he's right. been in. But I do agree that he's still too small. You're absolutely right. right. Yeah, that's but what I'm trying has, to point he, he has gained. He has gained a little weight, and it's the last thing I'm gonna say. I mean, even if that scenario goes through, I mean, what what do we what do we did all that just to turn into the Brooklyn Cavaliers? Because it's yeah. pretty much kind of like the same. The the team will be set up pretty similar to the, to the Brooklyn mm -hmm. Cavaliers. Cam Thomas will yeah. be like Garland, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Um. No, nah, no, nah, Garland will be Schroeder, right? Hold and then on, Donovan on, Mitchell will be Cam Thomas? Hold on, go ahead, I, I, I don't know, but I'm just saying, yeah, he'll still be playing with another dominant um, scoring small guard. Um, mm -hmm. He'll still be playing with the same, you know, same type of wings. You yeah, got yeah, yeah. It just seems like it's the Brooklyn Cavaliers to me. I don't know if that's enough to win. I mean, maybe it's enough to build on as we go along, but it's not enough to – well, yeah, I agree. Well, well that I would agree. be the point, though, for 2024, to build for 2025 free agency. Because if you have Mitchell, there's at least one star they can give a max to to, to play with them. And I honestly yeah, think they should go after a big town. Yo, but a big right. is MB. Like, when we, when we you should pair a big with, with the Mitchell. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. John just finished. Hold on, Leaf, because I was looking for you on your stream, and I couldn't find you, dog. I was there. I had to go to the hospital, bro. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine, man. Um, Auntie, so, um, next yeah, damn man killed him. So nah, my nah, my nah, thing nah, is, nah, nah, yo, nah, glad you good, nah, bro. Glad you. No, no, no. My aunt, no, nah, my aunt had a um, situation. She had fell in the house. Aunt, my fault, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah no, we glad you good. No, no, she good. Um, I was close to the crib, and um, 
the uh, 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 her, her, her grandkids was um at their pops house, man. So I was close to the crib, so I had to go, go over there. I had to make sure she didn't go to Woodhall, so we um messed around and went to um to uh, uh Kings County. So, I was yeah, I yeah. I thought the Nets almost did you in, bro. No, no, no. I didn't even start the stuff. Bro, here's the thing that um I had to, I got the call at around like the game started at like seven. I got the call at like six forty five, so I had to jet out. So I had to ignore the whole stream altogether. Oh, I didn't know you you, you did. Together. You, you didn't, didn't miss nothing, bro. You, you, you didn't, didn't miss. Nah, you good. You good though. Nah, you know I was just I, I gotta troll you every time. You know what I mean? But that was nah, I, the only bad. reason why I was a little bit tired at that because I was planning on doing my last episode on Sunday because on um, Sunday is my born day and I wanted to um sixty five. wanted to do yeah, yeah, I wanted to do episode sixty five. Um, I think we played Sacramento that day too. Mm -hmm, I remember. Oh, oh, Lee, yeah. I subscribe by the way, man. Keep doing a good job. You do a great job. Man. Appreciate appreciate it, but I um. Before we go any further, I wanted to chime in. Um, whoever said we needed a big, we 100 percent. Uh, he 100 percent correct. It's just right. all about, it's just all about where we get a big from. Uh, mm -hmm. In terms of in terms of anything in free agency, I, I listen. I, the only plan for the first plan for free agency, were, uh, as far as I know, is Donovan Mitchell. That's the first plan. Uh, like well, at least the first plan for like uh, uh, somebody from another team. As far as the rest of this roster go. Let's keep it. Let's keep it five, bro. Like a lot of this, like a lot of these players that's given us a, a constant energy on this team came um, out of this past year's draft. Wofford, uh, no, no, excuse me, not Wofford. Wofford came from uh, Portland. Um, Wilson and uh, Clowney, they need uh, uh, extended minutes this time next year. There's, right. there's, there's no doubt about that, bro. Now, um, in terms of now, we already got Dayron, who is a pick. Dayron is going to continue to be the backup center, obviously, because he can still move shit. He can still read, still the best rebound on his team, obviously. Um, Cam Thomas is going to be uh, implemented, bro, at some point because they're starting to put his names on merch and everything, and they're starting to put Clack's name on merch. Yo, but hold on, hold on. Let, I want to slow it down right there, Leaf, because I didn't. I, I, we we spoke on it briefly, mm -hmm. but I want to ask the panel for real. We can start with Leaf. I, I'll give my quick, you know, soliloquy or whatever. But huh. case in point is, I feel like in a way LeBron kind of passed the torch to Cam Thomas. But somebody like LeBron says he do that to everybody. To me, that meant like, yo, I expect to be, I expect him to be one of the best players when I leave the league, the NBA league. Wow, that's what I took from that. What which I took from what LeBron I, said. I, I'm 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 gonna I'm start. I'm gonna start first. I didn't take nothing from what LeBron said because I didn't give a shit about what LeBron said. I didn't need LeBron to say anything, bro. I already know what I know about Cam Thomas. So fuck okay. LeBron. Right. And so hold on. So let's let's go to the next panel. <laughs> All right. So hold on. Let's 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 ask Jay, man. Jay, did, what you thought about what LeBron said about Cam Thomas? Yo, I thought that shit meant something. Uh, LeBron is one of the fucking greatest players of all time, and when he yo mute up, yo, if y'all just mute up, yo. this background noise. Go ahead, Jay. Yeah, LeBron one of the greatest players of all time. So if he uh, is noticing things about the game and making sure that the media knows that he knows that he <laughs> that Cam Thomas is that guy, but at the end of the day, I didn't see him go too deep into the topic or whatever he was just like yo he do that to everybody so right. it could just be saying we know he a scorer but what else though so mm -hmm. yeah i ain't think he tried to give him too much shine he did score 40. you know what i'm saying right. <laughs> i think and i think i think i think that's what it was because you know i think a lot of the reporters they catching up the journalists they catching up i won't be long-winded we're gonna go to lm lm what you thought about what lebron said um, I mean, to Jay's point, I think he was just like acknowledging, like, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna score, you're gonna do that to everybody, like, as he's been doing. Um, I mean, Ken Thomas is pretty much on every every team scouting report, so I mean, uh, I think that speaks volumes as to the type of player that he he's growing into, you know what I'm saying? Like, Somebody that you got to scout for. You know he can get hot. We know he's going to impact the game. So, you know you're going to get a bucket. And you can't really guard that. So, But I think Braun was – I think if they lost, I think he would have said more about Ken for real. But I think due to the fact that he went off, he was just like, 
Nah, he, he scores. Like, that's what you do. So, I think that's just Braun was being Braun, but I think he do got high praise for Cam, though. I think yeah. he uh he watches the young guys anyway, so I think he got high praise for Cam. That's what's up, man. Shout out to LA, man. That was, that was, uh, I appreciate that. Um, we're gonna go to Joey BK, then we're gonna go to Ivan and uh, talk, talk to me, Joey. I, right, right, what you thought about what he said? Um, I didn't think much into it. Um, I just um, know that you know LeBron is a student of basketball and he pays attention to the to the to the um young generation. Braun might be watching some the next phenom eighth grader and he probably know his name. That's just how it is. Like if you a baller and your name is out there as being a baller, Braun gonna know who you are. And he knows Cam is a baller and he was just giving him his props. Like yeah. I mean, everybody know this is what he does, you know. Um, I don't, I don't think I didn't take too much into it, but I just think he was just acknowledge acknowledging Cam's talent. That's all. Yeah. The funny question is, what do you think Cam Thomas thinks about it? And I'm gonna tell you what, I don't really care. I'm a Kobe guy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's Cam Thomas. <laughs> that we said the Lakers <laughs> game. The last one. Say, you know what? Say that again, Jay, bro, for the cheap seats, bro, in the chat, bro. I know that's what he would say. He would. Like, that what he said last game, Jay. He said that last game. Of course, of course that, that's what he said last game when we when we on one in LA, yeah. bro. That's what he said the previous game before that. LeBron ain't see him enough times to be saying no shit like that. Yo, he do that to everybody, bro. We just started. He just started getting thirty minutes this year. So what are you talking about? No, bro. He, LeBron no. watches basketball, bro. He's watching. Bro, and every, he the I, Lakers I, gave him work. Remember that um shootout pause. Now I want to say I ain't mean to say shootout. Remember that um back to back that happened with Cam Thomas and Austin Reeves, like yeah, yeah I remember he, that. He knows about they play versus each other before this game, so right. you know what I'm saying. And I'm that's why he said he does that to everybody. Yeah, I, I mean, I, 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 Cam I, I, Thomas is on the wrong watch for him to say that. Yeah, that's bro, what I got. Yeah, I mean, I, the I, only I thing I gotta say off. about it, bro, is that we. It, <laughs> We we uh, uh, I'm mean, I kind of don't like talking about this. I'm glad that you gave like you know Brooklyn Nets because we don't know what Sean Mar everybody knows that Cam Thomas, LeBron James, PG James Harden like bro right. he right. he oh, wow. even I was watching yeah. I watch um ba I was watching the Cavaliers um the last time we played the Cavaliers and they said they got to build around these yo commentators like that's bro, what I, I don't know that's, I don't know how much more can we hit? I can't hear no more I don't know. This he 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 has a right, and, and the thing is too, we gotta understand with these players, like Cam Thomas only twenty two, right. so you gotta remember the more he filled these players because a lot of these players read each other more because they play with each other a lot. I, so Cam Thomas just getting his feet. Cam Thomas really just getting his feet wet, bro. So I mean, I, just to make the I don't want to be long with it, but yeah, everybody everybody, everybody knows, man. Field, they they gotta, see a little bit of his potential. You, you, what we what we think he can right do. About that. And um, Jay was talking about it the last time. He said, "Yo, if you listen to the uh the other uh teams uh, uh commentary, and they said it in quote, and so many other teams have said it. He's like, yo, if the Nets ever decide to build around this kid, bro, like yo, that what they say? Yeah, they, yeah, that like, what I swear to God, almost at least five okay. different teams." Almost at least five. 2K must was be paying attention that. too because his overall went up. So 2K must be paying attention. Hey, but on the flip side, appreciate that. On the, on, the flip side, <laughs> on the flip side, I have seen commentators kind of like um, crack jokes on him for being a chucker. They do do that. Yeah, you know, the ball mean, to get offense from. Bro. Yo, but Joey, Joey, my thing is, my thing, okay, so when it goes to, uh, I, I was talking, Joey, I wanted to ask you this, though. Have you heard it recently? Because I haven't heard it no more at the break. I heard it. And then, and then, hold on, J Ivan, hold on. We're going to go to John, but Ivan. I, let, let me just answer In the, the month of March, he averaged 27, 28 points. I already know, yeah, Breezy. Let me, let me, let me just answer the question real quick. Go ahead, I, I say we that to say this. I just wanted to put that out there. Like, I'm not a Cam hater. I, I'm a Cam fan. I know but you I, are no joy. I'm just saying. I think those things kind of died no, out. No, I haven't no, heard it. No, recently. they have. I mean, the good outweigh the bad. More mm -hmm, people talk really. good about Cam than they than they do bad. The commentary. Is he, he just, he just I, bro? Yeah, just that's that's not true. That, that was that, his body, bro. That shit not true. That shit okay, not true. Right. I can't even let y'all run around with that rhetoric like that. The, no, they but, don't know Cam Thomas is hooping right now. Nah, but bro, I'm here mad hype about that about joke. Cam I mean, Thomas, just bro. like old boy said, I, um, just the opposite like old boy said on the Charlotte Hornets, he was like, Well, we know Cam not gonna pass the ball. Yeah, so, and I like, heard him say Cam Thomas never seen a shot he didn't like. 
right. Okay. I mean, okay. Yeah, but I, no, I was saying, Jay, I was okay. saying recently. You know that thing, that, Jay? I remember Joey. Okay. Listen, bro. I remember every no, 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 night. Yeah, yeah, I had Jay. Joey, Breezy, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look look Before you go, Breezy, I just want to say one thing. No, I remember Jay, Joey, yeah, yeah, Breezy. Yeah, had to shit. come look and debate way. everybody every night. I used to hear y'all yeah, work. That thing died down, bro. Listen, it's no like I, mean, I don't see y'all, people debating no more. Like, y'all niggas listen, is so listen, sensitive. No, 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 niggas listen, is saying what the announcers are saying. Listen, yeah, I just, yeah, I'm listen, saying, got, like, listen, <laughs> listen, y'all got narratives, and I really pull up clips. This is what I'm saying. That's <laughs> that's your narrative. But bro, you see that, a pass bro. like that, bro. We, we yeah. know we yeah. know Cam can we know Cam getting better at passing, bro. It's not my narrative. Hold on, but listen, what I'm saying is don't don't uh, this is for the whole the shoe fit with it, bro. If if y'all could say that he a chuck this and that, these are away teams. The way a away a commentator gonna talk is gonna talk favorite to the home team. For okay, one, well, for two, right, but right, but Cam wasn't this doing this all season, season, season though. No, yeah, that's facts, LM. LM was oh, well, defending listen. Cam too. My bad, uh, LM. I'm not, I'm not saying that. That. No, I'm a Cam. I'm a Cam fan. But at the same time, we gotta keep it real. No, 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 wait, We gotta keep it real, bro. Come on. The only, the only thing, the only, wait, wait, time out, time out, time out, time out. The only thing I didn't want is the is the, is, the, is, the, is this glazing shit, bro. This over glazing the Cam Thomas, bro. We listen. We all know it's room to grow for his game, bro. Oh. Like I don't want uh, 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 the host nobody of this page, that, bro, to be jumping off the top rope, nah, elbow that, first, nobody ain't straight that. to the ground. No, 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 but I'm but, 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 but no, no, no. The nah, only reason why I didn't go say what I said. What I no, said. No, no. No, 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 no. I know what you said, bro. Listen, bro. Uh, uh, listen, you said what you said, bro. Like, it's not about what you said. It's about how far you go. It's yeah, Breezy, because I, I agree with I agree with Lee, Breezy. It's about how far you go every time. Hold no, on, it's not bro, about what you Breezy, said. Breezy. It's not about you, what you said specifically. It's about how far you go when Cam Thomas has his good game. And you and, 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 and we forget uh, all about the uh, the games where, where he's not as great, and then we blame it on somebody else. That's a, that's what it no, is. But, and that but was hold on, can I say something real quick? Y'all talking about my But I'm take saying this, I'm not leaving a specific topic. Hold on, I'm not leaving a specific topic, bro. I'm not going nowhere with it. Y'all saying that, oh, he chuck up shots. He passing no, it to players. Imagine, that. you passing. We're not, we not saying, saying that, that bro. We're not, not saying that. that. No, nah, the breezy, breezy. My saying, only thing, bro, breezy. My only thing, bro, when you're like, when you. Can I go right there? Go ahead, Jay. I'm just saying. That when the opposing announcers are talking about us, of course they're trying to be funny and they're trying to say slick shit. That's what they're supposed to do. They're rooting for their team. But even through the bullshit that they're saying, and they may have a point with the fact, some of the shit that they're saying, but the, the truthfulness of it comes out that Cam is a great scorer and they every team knows that. They also sure. know that he doesn't want to pass the ball, but part of the reason he doesn't want to pass the ball could be because he know he going to make the shot more than the other niggas that that would take the shot. <laughs> I mean, like, listen, right. I, look, like, look, and, 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 and honestly, and, and, I'm just saying that the announcers when they when they're watching the team from their perspective, this is the type of shit that they're saying. No, Jay, but, you but, right, right? But, but here's but, what but, we're saying, they, right? They, they, oh, they, I want to say they, something. They, that might hold on, hold on, LM. That might have been the, see everything that Jay saying, bro. Might have been the case you maybe back in next. It, it, that might have been that might have been the case back in December. That might have been the case back back then. But the the Cam Thomas we looking at now, obviously, is evolving into somebody. You can yeah, Lee, I agree. I haven't heard it recently. Run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I hold on. Heard it recently right. because now, hold the thing on, is, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. One of these last couple of games, I definitely heard. Listen, it. hold on, never hold on, hold on. I just want, hold on. I want to just move the conversation to the uh, combination of Cam Thomas and Wofford and what they mean to each other. They played the LSU together, and y'all seen them as teammates. They're good freaking teammates, man. It took yeah. long enough. Bro, this is the our nah, teammates they, they that we got from they college. We got LSU teammates. They, they with finally get playing time. And, and yeah. Waffle, bro. And right. listen, Cam Thomas got there, and he was a rookie, and he left and be, went to the NBA. But uh, Waffle left the same year and went to Poland. And he was, I think, a junior. He wasn't a freshman for sure. He was either a sophomore or junior. So, again, that system at LSU, I'm pretty sure he was there explaining to Cam Thomas. They build, they talk, they teammates, bro. 
I'm telling you, bro. Waffle well, gonna stay on this team. He the backup point guard, if you ask me, man. I hope I so, Bree Breezy. I, I would love to see it, Breezy, because you know every but, time they play, right, yo. So hold on, hold on. The question is this: What rotation y'all got with Cam Thomas and Wofford in the lineup? Man, you gotta put you, you can put Wofford the three on the four, the three on the four. No, me, I no, got Cam. I, well, well, I got Wofford at the one. I got Cam at the two. I got McCall at the three. I got fucking Clax at the four, and we don't know who the fuck gonna be at the five. But but well, it's good that uh, position is basketball because Waffle could be basically anywhere. Yeah, with, yeah. With Waffle, his skill set. Waffle, could, Waffle could be anywhere with his skill set, but I think the the whole thing when you when you're running Cam Thomas and Wofford, you want to run a lineup with uh, uh basically Cam Thomas is the shortest person on the court. So realistically, bro, like it, it'll probably be Wofford, maybe Mikel, and uh, uh maybe maybe a Claxton and a Clowney, bro, because we have a power Claxton forward. We just Clowney, don't we yeah, just don't have Clowney at the four, Claxton at the five. Yeah. Or the, no, so, the Clowney. Yo, yeah, oh, that's yeah. fire, son. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah, yeah. That's so, fire. So, so, I'm so, telling yeah. you, that could be a better. That would be telling people the only reason why, I like, yo, because th this career, this year is done. They just gotta get run. Yo, give Clowney all the runs. This year, yo, get them so they can get prepared for next year. The, the, the get, most, just get them experience. Let them the, experience. The, the most, Who the cares most, about the record? Experience. The most, the experience, most important. Experience. The most important part. Yeah, that, I, I, that's key. The most important part going forward is that they key in on giving their young players more and more time because the thing is, they're gonna be here. They're gonna be here all after the fact. We got one year expiring deals left and right uh, coming up this off season. Obviously, with bullshit. Um, obviously, with uh, 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 with with Finney Smith, who got a one year deal left, and obviously, Struder got a one year deal left. Now, we got to figure out how to replace those the, uh, uh, those pieces and uh, put uh, uh, players on, in on. place in those Please. pieces. Uh, one, one more thing before I go, and one, one, more thing that, one more thing that we're forgetting about, and I'm gonna end it right here. We also forgetting uh, uh, the uh, uh, the Derek Whitehead uh, situation that's uh, sort of being played. We got to uh, keep our heads up uh, on that. He yeah, so we, we got to keep our eyes open for that, too. So, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Lionel. But he gives a scoring off the bench if Lonnie doesn't resign. Exactly. Yeah, good point, LM. Right. Facts. Talk to him, LM. Exactly. And, I'm, and, and I hope Ice Man was he's here. he's 6'7 as and well. I, so if you can put him at the shooting card. Leave, let LM Leave, leave. Let Ice Man. Uh, let LM, I mean, sorry. Right. He just what I was saying was. Well, Yo, they asked for LM in the comments. Adol SL said LM been killing it lately. Yeah, Dude, LM has, bro. What? LM has, man. Shout out to Adam, man. I appreciate it. But what I'm saying is if Lonnie don't come back, Derek Whitehead helps a lot. Uh, Barn, I hope this is his last injury. But if he come back, he's going to help. One, because one, he's taller than Lonnie. He's 6'7". Two, dude's only 19. So Damn. with his scoring arsenal, he can help if Cam Thomas is coming off the bench. Um, not coming off the bench like uh, that's a spot. Start. If if yeah, if he comes off the bench and they rest in Cam, I'm just saying no, no, no. If they in the start like in the rotation, it's like second. Right, game. right, 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 right. So so this, you got Cam Thomas at two. Who your three, four? And five. the thing is with the, I'll say if trending, trending. I ain't gonna lie. If he come back from injury. I would love a lineup of trending Cam Thomas. Uh, sit this nigga out because he's been he, he needs rest. Then uh, I'll put Derek at the three. I will put Clack Clowney at the four, and then I will put Clacks at the five. Mm -hmm. We not, Ooh, we not, we not that That's not real, bro. You know all the It's not real. Wait, wait. Let me continue, right? It's not realistic. Continue, bro. That's that's not realistic. But look, right. Is a lot late. Wait, so let me let me finish. Right, it's not realistic, but at the same time, it can happen because one, uh, Derek is taller than Mikel, so that's one that's extra height, and two, he also is not a liability on defense, and is not is not a fact that Derek Derek can play catch and shoot, but at the same time, it's not like you got somebody that that's limited in the self creation. He can create for himself, so that's two. Isolation scores and Cam Thomas and Derek Whitehead, and you got Lymph with Claxton and Clowney in uh in Trent and Wofford. So if you need defense and you need Lymph and you need scoring, that's a lineup that I would like I them think, to I, at I, least I, look at in the rotation. I, yeah, I I would I would I would be okay with that lineup, but I think we forgetting the most uh, important part going forward, especially after next year. 
backup point guard, bro. Because uh, I don't think we signed. I don't think we were signing no Dennis Struder, and I damn sure don't think we were yeah, signing no DSJ. So um, if Wofford is going to be in the plans, man, for somebody that's going to obviously be on a rookie deal and short money, you basically two cents on the dollar, bro. Like then, then that probably mean that going after Do even even though going after Donovan Mitchell, I'm not ignoring that, bro. But at the same time. Going after a, a legitimate point guard, being that bullshit is going to be off off this forty million dollars after next year. You got DSJ who's going to be out of here after this season. You got a, a, a Lonnie who's probably going to be going after the season, um, because we now figuring out that he has health issues and he's been playing hurt all year. So, so that's probably the reason why San Antonio didn't play him. That's probably the reason why the Lakers didn't play him. And now we are finding out why they both didn't play him in the first place. But he has talent. You just can't stay on the court. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, yeah. that, 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 be um, in Boston. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully, hopefully, Derek Whitehead is not the same situation going forward. Hopefully, but Finger, um, he's only 19, so fingers crossed. But your LM that that lineup, bro. If I feel like three years from now, oh man, that lineup is gonna be that. that yeah, not even three I, I years, like that, Ivan. I, he, I feel like that could be. I don't think it's gonna be that lineup early in the season. You want? I don't you think they're gonna do that because they gonna they want to work Derek Whitehead back. But around this, around here, this uh, April so next year, like, I like definitely you think Jarek can be in the rotation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do it when we 15 games under 500, bro. Hold, hold, hold on, y'all. Hold, 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 hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I need to read this comment. Hold on. Let me read this comment. Let me read this comment. Adar SL says, hold on, y'all. Let me read this comment. Adar SL says, Schroeder has one more year at 12 months left. He ain't going no way. We need to find a starter. Go to State Warriors, go on the wave CP3 MLE. May do it if we can get a start. I'm not getting CP3. Yeah. And that's to get CP3. Um, we don't need another player that won't be available. Like, stop. I mean, yeah, not even know. We're not CP3, paying for no, no for, CP3 is looking short money, money, though. The CP3 hold that's on, better. Better. That's, that's that's from minimum, though, man. That ain't nothing. At least he's going to play, I think. Oh, yeah, and then he and then he can smack Mikel Bridges around when he's doing bad games. Nah. Give him a little smacking in the nah, head. Nah, Yo, get the yeah, game. Yeah, as much as I want a young not, team, we do not, need some veteran. That's not who CP3. Though. That's not who CP3 is. But I mean, but listen. Now I, he I, could I, hold you accountable. CP3 man, holds CP3 everybody accountable. Like CP, he could CP, be yelling at, at Mikel CP3 Bridges. CP3 even at age 39, bro, could still dime up the court, bro. Like I'm not. How many games, bro? For how many I don't games? Know. More than yo, Ben Simmons. Yo, yo, That's what I could tell yo, you, yo, guarantee. Yo, 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 why you can say that? Well, how many bro. games he played this well, year? Well, well, Breezy, it's not for how many. It's not for how many games. It's yes, also it is for how many games. No, no, it's not. No, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what it's for. It's for how much money. That's what it's for. It's for how much money. We're going to get that. We're probably going to get that nigga for vet minimum, bro, and he's going to be on his way out the league. His job. Yeah, that's what he's talking about, the mid-level. Yeah, 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 but but I'm going to show you what his role and is. And he can spit game, too. Yo, no, you know how much time we're going to learn from him? His true role on the team, bro, is to show the young players, the up-and-coming players on his team, the ropes. It's that's what he did that day, bro. Yeah. If it show Cam right. Thomas how to pass. That's what, that's what I just said. Exactly. Yeah. Right. That's what it really is. That would I'm, be fire. I'm, I'm cool I would love that. Cool yeah, that. you you feel me, Jay? I mean, right. can, you know who else is on the you know who else is on the CP3 Tudor list? Shea oh, Gilligan's Alexander. Oh, yeah, that, that was. Yeah. That was. Yeah. If he could be at, at least on the bench or to teach Cam Thomas how to create offense and how to make plays and in, in the half court and pass the ball or who you need to pass it to and draw the right. defense here and all of that shit, mm -hmm. that would be a big help. I was thinking the exact same but shit, Jay, bro. In the he, chat. He, he Jay my mind. I was, Jay is I was cooking, thinking, yo. Jay I was thinking, I was thinking the exact same case, shit, bro. <laughs> Jay, Jay, Jay just read my whole thought process. CP3 did. I mean, wonder why Shane Gilligan's Alexander is playing like how he playing that point guard is because he – Gave CP3, he was on the CP3's tutelage when that nigga yeah, left. Was, was, yo, was, listen, listen. Was, once Mikel Bridges, yo, once Mikel Bridges start playing goofy, Chris Paul gonna be like, yo, son, get it together. And I bet you gonna get it. To Chris Paul don't play. He don't play at all, man. Mm -hmm. He don't play. That'd probably be good for Mikel Bridges too, right? Yeah. yeah. It will be good for Mikel Bridges because now he gets back in his set role as a defender and as a 3 and D player. You know, especially when he on the court. When you got some, when you when you have somebody that could uh, dot up the court like a CP three, still at his advanced age, bro. Like, 
you, you know, it, it makes room for that. And CP3. No, I'm still, not talking about him as a player, bro. I don't think that's happening. I think he vet vet, vet minimum just to have the vet on the team, just on but, the roster. But, like, but he's going to give some playing time, though. Yeah, he's going to get some playing time. But he, realistically, he, he, bro, we can't rely on him to get to, to, no, to win games. Right. The experience is the most important thing. Yeah, I do accept that, right? I mean, I do, but at the same time, we got to realize when he was healthy for the Warriors, they were Look how you started the Bro, sentence. All right, exactly. Look how you started the sentence. He can't be, he's not going to be healthy. There were. Niggas don't get healthier as they get older. I understand that, but like 15 minutes a game for a nigga that's 39 years old and already an all time great. 39? Point guard. No, but yeah. look, I feel like what Breeze is saying is. We know at, if he on the team, we can't be putting our hopes on him to stay I understand that. I understand for that. us I understand to be that. successful. The point right, is man. to get him on the team. Hopefully, he could play some minutes. And if he plays some minutes, it'll probably be good. But the goal is to, for him to teach Cam Thomas, in my head, that how to be pass dope. the ball and how to play make. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That definitely. I and I think uh, and I he think got the uh, down. But if he can I think I think Cam like Thomas I think Cam Thomas Cam Thomas is already Cam Thomas is already you know what I mean? I think mm -hmm. Cam Thomas as a playmaker is already on the right uh, uh steps and the right trajectory going forward. Um no, but hold on. That shit got a lot of legs to it yeah, because because look how he studied under KD and Kyrie. Right. And then remember Chris right. Paul had Lob City, man. He had Lob City. And no, no thanks. Like Jackson? Come on, man. No thanks. Yeah. Just, just him. Like, for instance, we don't have a direction or where we have a stronghold or what we're going to do with coaching, right? Right. But a player like Chris Paul is perfect for the locker room, perfect for the bench, yes. for the Brooklyn Nets. Now, I, I, feel, I, I feel like he's perfect that, that for a lot of uh, a lot of guys on this team that don't really have. Yeah, and, and, no, and no offense and too, Cam Thomas, yo, for, uh, Cam yeah, Thomas yeah, learned from Kyrie. Hold on, hold on, hold on Ivan, go, we go after Jay. Ivan, go no, ahead. I, just, I was just saying, I uh, I know this. Y'all don't care about this part of it, but this is a business, and Josiah would love to sell some jerseys, and Chris Paul jerseys would sell. <laughs> Chris yeah. Paul, Chris Paul jerseys at age yo. at age thirty nine. Yeah, yo. Chris so I, I want to say something too. Oh, what? Yo, Chris Paul yeah. got State Farm. That's like a legendary. Chris Paul got mad fans. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if niggas lining up. There. I ain't. I know I ain't lining up for no Chris Paul. Yeah, I, I ain't lining up. <laughs> yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. Chris Paul. Got I'm, I'm a Chris Paul fan. Chris so Paul I'm got mad if, fans. If you, if you if you can sell Chris Paul, if I see a Cam and the Cam jersey and a CP3 jersey next to each other, I'm choosing the latter. I mean, no, no, but no I get I what you're coming it, from, though. No, I, yeah, I understand what you're saying. To me, I think it all depends. On, it, it all depends on on our fan base. If they understand, Nigga, Chris, who Chris Paul, Paul jersey is going to sell more than Mikael Bridges. Going to sell more than Dorian Finney Smith. Going to sell more than Cam Johnson. Going to sell more than all of them, nigga. Well, his jersey would well. be at least oh, the top man. two jersey on the well, team. I, 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 well, Jay, but I want to add to one of the guys at Jay Point. Well, Jay, Jay, you said all. Y'all got, got him on the roster next year? Y'all got Cam Johnson on you the roster? You said Joe think it's going to sell more than McCall? Well, Jay, nah, you think it's going to sell more than The market in that poster boy that they made him this, hell no. Nigga, shoot us for her. I don't, I don't, I don't really know for sure, but I will say this, bro. Like, what Jay said yesterday, um, about uh, uh, Claxton, um, and his his jersey and Cam Thomas jersey being in stores now, in the in the uh, net stores now, bro. And um, I just hit my bro, my little brother just spent um a rack up of like ten items up in the store, bro. Like he wilded out, but um, what what he said yesterday was pretty alarming to me because that gives me some sort of motion that like the front office is like, okay, Cam Thomas is. It's sort of it's somewhat is starting to become more and more of a priority as as these games go on. So that was that was kind of a good look for um because of what uh, Jay said um about the jersey about the uh, the Cam Thomas. But the reason why that's said. a bad look because it's like how come everybody else could see it before y'all see it and he's on your team y'all because they, because they're not that smart bro like I mean listen Vince McMahon yeah, that's the fucked up thing Vince McMahon didn't see Stone Cold Steve Austin and Austin 316 before Austin 316 before Stone Cold saw it <laughs> yo so I, I want I want to say I want to say something about that because yeah, I do agree smart. with y'all my only I want to say the other fans too that said yo you can't give Cam Thomas the keys right people that be saying I like bro the way he played this year it's good to gamble.
for example, Mark Jackson, right? Remember how he gambled on Clay Thompson and Curry? How he said they want they're gonna be one of the greatest shooters. Y'all remember that, right? He so I'm not gonna lie, the greatest shooting backcourt, bro. Yeah, he the, the greatest not. shooting backcourt. I'm not gonna lie. I was the I was the first one saying like this man is on crack. Like <laughs> I was the one. Yeah. I was like this is impossible. They and I he they shut me the fuck up. So I think you got when you see something like Cam Thomas, you gotta gamble on this. If it fails, you got nothing to lose, man. Look at his contract. So they like, you can either go up and up. You got nothing to lose. That's what people don't understand. Like yo, yo, that shit is hilarious the way that he said it. No, seriously. The like, way that he so much it, yeah. sense. No, it's really common sense, bro. When you look at the again, just look at it like uh somebody that don't know nothing about basketball and they just seeing the contract and the productivity and i'm looking like if you look at you looking like hold on man like this is the what i'm paying this guy and this is what he's doing that is that's incredible that is incredible and then you look at what the other guys are come on man that shit is not come on man that's not but, adding, but, 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 but you want it to add up the right way but breezy, I understand everything that you're saying is is on on point. The the, the issue is is that the, the these owners that come out of their pocket for some of these players, it's not it's it's plenty of cases where they see them fall back from what the what they was to try to get the contract, and then the player that they they are when they get the contract, it's not the player who they were before they got the contract. Injuries play play an effect, bro. A whole bunch no, of things. No, I'm gonna tell you what the play. issue is. The issue is fucking chat gpt and box plus minus scores because that's all they give a fuck about and just, yes jay you know, yes last oh, night i hate that stuff man last night while when we were sitting there talking about fever and all that i went and looked up the little stats and shit because everybody was like yeah mikhail bridges was the second best player on the team and then in fever like it, the nigga had the highest uh box plus minus score on the team or some shit like that. But yeah, he, that's, he, that's he, what they was going on. But, but he wasn't leading in points. I no. think he was third or fourth in points. He wasn't right. leading in steals. He wasn't mm -hmm. leading in assists. He wasn't mm -hmm. leading in nothing. Mm -hmm. But it was just his box plus minus score. It's good when he's on the court. When he's on the court, the team was doing well. But that don't necessarily mean you was doing anything. Yo, I Jay, I, want, I wanted to add on your point too, right? If you look at plus and minus, if you look at people like Kobe, if you if you see Kobe, how many shots he took or whatever, you would think if you look at that, you would think he was worst player ever, bro. But this man always will his team too. You can't look at those stats. Stats don't tell you these real, the, the real the story, the bro. The, 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 but the, the problem is, bro, is, is that the only way people can have arguments is if they go look something up and go do the math, bro. They can't look at the game. They like. It's more. It's more. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Hold on, Leaf. Hold on. It's more and more fans that. It's more and more fans that read about basketball than they actually watch it. Trust yeah, me, bro. And, like, and, I, and I agree, Leaf. And I want to say. I want to say this, man. Uh, the thing. Basketball is so simple, bro. So I, I, I've watched basketball since what the early 2000s. That's when I started watching ball. And I used to think that it's about will and all of that. Basketball is all about complimentary pieces and i use this example every day right and people be like oh if cam thomas go to another team will he be a starter okay i want to ask you this if draymond green go to another team will he be a starter no because he draymond green but he, is he impactful for the warriors yes can they win without him no it's because a system basketball is all about complimentary pieces that's all basketball is it's chemistry and complimentary pieces and that's it. Point all right, so no, 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 that's no, all. Stay, stay, stay I there. agree with you about the system. No, no, but let's st let's stay there. Let's let's just talk. Let's talk teammates, right? Yeah. Now, Nick, well, hold on, right. hold on. I just want to talk teammates. I want to have this teammate conversation. Right. Kim Thomas, Dayron Sharp, Wafit, great teammates. Claxton and yes. Kim Thomas together. I'm talking about when I say they mention these players. I'm talking about together. Great teammates. As a matter of fact, Cam Thomas could play with every player on this team. Let's just – I don't, I don't – Yeah, know pretty much. Yeah, I said pretty much, but yeah. I, I, but I'm going to say that. Now, that being said, when you think about Macau Bridges, me personally, I think that I want him to run a pick and roll with Noah Clowney. And because they haven't done that yet, I ain't really – I'm not really feeling it. Um, Seeing, seeing him with Cam Johnson earlier in the season, I wasn't impressed. I thought right. I would see more what they did in the last 28 games 
and I thought they would be hooping, hooping more than more than they was together as a teammates. That's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about how they play play together when they on the floor. They the rotations and what it look about now. I'm talking about teammates, to teammates and how like they play with uh, uh, like like, no, no, the the, the, the different the different rotations. Like when you complimentary players, that would be me. Like you got this guy on the floor, how they play, and I'm just saying that to say that again. I think Macau Bridges need that. Low post threat on the offensive side of the ball for him to get that uncontested three pointer he's looking for. Um, he been yeah. trying to get and he been trying to get in the post like every now and again, bro. Like I've been saying, come on, game. man. Now, come on, man. We need we needed that along. Like yeah, yeah, I, I understand, yeah, yeah, but, but you know, I, I, but, but, bro, this, you can't I, post I, up if you got butterfingers. So I mean, my, my, listen, 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 trying, listen, listen, but no, I'm like, not trying to. I, I hold on, hold on, listen. I, I'm not I'm trying to. I'm not trying to rag on him. I'm not trying to be funny. But I'm not saying. I'm being game realistic. One, How you I, hold on, listen. I'm not, I'm not saying. You, I'm not talking about what I said. <laughs> listen, the game one versus Cleveland, he had McCall. I mean, excuse me, McCall Bridges had Donovan Mitchell or Darius Garland on him. Easily could have threw them in on the post all game. But anyways. Go ahead. But they will steal the ball from him as soon as he turns his back and tries to dribble down. They will put. Pickpocket him. He's not. He's not yeah, confident he, with yeah, the he, ball. Yeah, he. Yeah, his, his, uh, he ain't confident. That's why. With the ball. That's why. They he ain't confident with the ball. He, 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 he ain't confident putting the ball on the floor he, like that. He, 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 he a professional basketball player. He could just keep the ball above their heads, like in the park and shit. Like uh, no, but uh, breezy. Uh, but hold on, hold on, breezy. Uh, I want to say this. I want to say this. You saw, um, for example, right? When remember when Cam Thomas got double teamed the beginning of the season? How he he had a hard time passing. Okay. Now, when they double team him, now he he break he he breaks it down, right? Mikael mm-hmm. Bridges get double teamed. He never seen this before. He never did these plays. He's kind of new to this. A breezy yeah. kind of sort of like you see him panic with double simple double team and blitz. Like no, he no, can't no, even pass I'm, off of that. Right, right. You know? But what I'm saying is that but, he always been a role they was, player. They was playing him at the two that game, and it was like they played they decided to play him at the two, but he wouldn't put them on the post. And I'm just like, why not? They smaller than you. You bigger than them. Pulse, put them on the post. But 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 breezy. Yeah, but the thing is, I hold on, hold on. Before y'all go, I want to say one last thing. I let y'all go, breezy. The thing is, too, you gotta be. You know, basketball is all about speed and thinking quick. What you saying is correct, but he don't he don't think quickly because he don't be put in those situations before. Like you exactly. see him do it sometimes, but he don't know how to do it. I, I you know, you pra- this is practice is the best teacher. And he just – this is the first time having this role, and you see right. he's flunking. <laughs> right. But that's the Asian thing. He's that. thinking too much because he's not just out there doing Yes. It. He's Fact. thinking too much in the moment. Like, oh, shit, what, what am I supposed to do? Fuck yep. Up. Oh, shit. It's I'm not natural. I, I, yeah, I, I not honestly natural. believe, listen, like the role that he's been in this past month where Cam Thomas is doing most of the creation and starting to figure out how to uh, uh, add to his game as a playmaker, has been a plus, man. Yes, I don't mind. Yes, I don't please. mind him coming yeah. off the screen shooting, bro. Like, listen, if you want to shoot the balls, continue to put pressure on the defense, bro. Like, we got other players to get down here. We got other players to get to the basket, bro. Um, Breezy always talked about how Clax need more touches at at the at the basket or at um above the uh, above the goal and everything, bro. But that that's that's all in due time because we have somebody that has the ball in their hands. That's getting better as a playmaker, and whether it's and, and that's Wofford and Cam Thomas, we have two people that's a, getting way much much better at making decisions with the basketball and getting everybody involved. They're evolving, bro, in, in that aspect. So as they continue to evolve, then everybody else around them is going to come into play, and and everybody around them is going to start to see that, and and they're going to start to react okay. into it to in, in a um, positive positive way offensively. That's yep. what's going to happen. No, you're, you're right. right. When can Claxton start creating his own dunks, though? Like, because I understand, like, live here and there, but that shit can't get one-dimensional. You got to be able to pass him the ball. He drop step and dunk on somebody. Instead that's, that's of not, fucking, not. <laughs> instead of all of these spin hooks. Yeah, he been, yo, he been rim, missing a like, lot of, he, like, he, yo, he gotta, like, listen, dunk. Look, that, can't listen, happen, that can't happen, Jay, when you look like Slender, No, I'm, but I'm look, listen. hold on. Wait, wait. I disagree only because... 
this nigga Macau is great as getting it to the rim on his slender man shit. This nigga Claxton can get to the rim. He just because he's faster than a lot of these dudes. He just got to get there and dunk it. He no, be no, no. The, the thing is, the thing is, uh, it's more let, me, than let, me, let me let me let me tell you why that is, Jay. But because Macau is being picked up oh, at the three point oh, line. Hold oh, on, yeah. Like, 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 wait, wait, wait. Look, the, even though Wimby is mad tall, Wimby is getting to the rim and dunking. That's because that's game. because people that's because they picking and him up at the up. three point. They picking him up at the three point line. Jay, they not picking Clax up at the three point line. That's they true. Clax is not they, a shooting they, threat for them. For his bum ass to go down there, bro, in the middle of the damn sit the paint. Uh, go ahead, lower the shoulder. We know what you're gonna do, bro, because you ain't shooting from out there. Wimby will pull that shit from mid court. We saw it. We all saw it, bro. Mid and Wimby don't give a shit, bro. We we never seen nothing like Wimby before, bro. Like so, the 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 players that you talking about, bro, like that. You mentioned Mikel. Mikel is being picked up at the three point line. So so the thing is, when his man close out on him on the three, he's already in the air off the bullshit shot fake. Now he got space. Now somebody else get to pick him up. That's not who Claxton is. Claxton is that nigga, bro. The defense nine times out of ten is playing drop coverage. Because they know he's going. They know the only way that he could score, bro, realistically, is to pass this free throw line. And all I need to do is just hold my hands up because he ain't going to get by me, man, with no burst because I'm not jumping for no fake because he ain't shooting. And I'm, yeah, not, we and I'm not falling for nothing. No, on the but not, my not only true. thing, yo, that's my only true, thing, you, that is true. true. He could get him to jump on the fake, thinking he about to do one of them little hook shits. And once Stop. he jumps, then you do your thing. Stop it. No, yo, because. Yo, cause um, Jay, you right that he got he's fa he's fast, but like leaf point, he they he's don't they're not they, Jay they don't the he's the like time. bro Jay he's like a Ben Simmons. No offense, like like a, he he got attack more than Ben Simmons, of course. But it's, they'd be it's like, not, it's not like they, they, it's I just like they be like shoot it, bro. Stronger. That's why they treat him like shoot it, bro. You you're not you're not driving in. You're his shooting, field goal like. percentage went down this year, and what I'm saying is. Last year, he was number one in field goal percentage. Your shit is going down. Why aren't you getting higher percentage shots? You're doing <laughs> lower percentage shots, and your percentage is going the, down. The, you know you know what the base against is? The base against is his field goal percentage was up because he played half the year with Kevin Durant and Kyrie. That's, that's what the base against no, is, true. bro. So, true. so, so. True. <laughs> and another thing uh, that I wanted to add, I want you to just go back to that Cam Thomas where you said with Chris Paul. I think it'll be better for Cam Tommy because no offense to Durant, and I, I've been watching Durant all my life, yo. Durant ain't the best person to teach him how to pass <laughs> either. No, and no not. offense to Kyrie, even though Kyrie, you know, Kyrie, he's an all right I, passer, but he ain't no Chris Paul passer, you know what I mean? So No, no, no. Chris Paul, Neither Chris one Paul, of them is a the pass first player. <laughs> neither one of them is pass first players, bro. Like, listen, yeah. they, we, we seen them fold like bad hand and poker, bro, when Boston – Put the defense on him, bro. Um, in the first round of the playoffs a year ago. So, so the thing is, uh, 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 two two years ago, bro. So, so the th the reality is, is that Chris Paul, bro, like we all has always been known as somebody that could dot up the court. He knows how to read plays. And That's play why play. I like this panel, bro. I people be debating me saying Chris, like Kyrie is one of these legendary. Pack. I'll be like, yo, these people don't watch ball, man. Like they don't. And I like and I like Kyrie. Like you gotta be realistic with your players. You know, and stuff. But Claxton, the only thing Claxton got to do is, yo, he don't even got to shoot three for me, bro. Hit that midi, son. And I swear he's going to look like a complete different person. Good, good, and I hope I hope they something. implement that next year, man. I hope, I hope, I hope. Look, I hope, look, I hope. It, it, to me, it's two directions Claxton could go. He could go, uh, uh, listen, getting something away yeah, from the yeah, basket. Yeah, or yeah, I was say towards the rim it. or away from the rim. I hope yeah, he go yeah. towards the rim. Listen, yes, but if, agree, he, if he Jay. if he goes toward if he goes towards the basket, bro, like he basically better be Giannis, bro, because that seemed to be the only nigga that's without a jump shot that could that could get to the basket at will, bro. That's, like, what, that's what I want to see. That's but, what well, I want to see. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, issue yeah, with, I want to see Giannis. Yeah. And the issue with Clax is when he gets to the ring. I got you. You ain't gonna see it, bro. You know why? Because he ain't got. When Claxton gets to the rim, he does that that push that push shot crap. Which yeah, exactly. That left hand floater. But, yeah. on, I saw yeah. that Indy tonight, and Mouse Turner was like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, Mouse <laughs> Turner was like, <laughs> 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 
coming. That shit is the bane of my existence right there. Stop doing it. It is. Yeah, that's just so much. I am saying he just need to shoot it, bro. Bro. No, I, I just want to say I didn't nobody nobody said nothing about that shooter fight or whatever the fuck that was. I just want to say that shit to me, I shooter is a is a firecracker, you know what I'm saying? He's he's always ready <laughs> on guard. Like, like, no, he a little like, he, he a black guy from Germany. What you think? Yo, you <laughs> saw the way he you see the way he's he like, ready for whatever. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he's ready for everything. <laughs> A whole and nigga stood over y'all and thought he six one. True, Jay. Yo, no, seriously, he from Germany. Yo, bro. Yeah, I'm from Germany. You gotta, from Germany, you, you gotta be ready for the shit. Yeah, you gotta be ready. For <laughs> nah, look, every time lie, he don't bro. get a foul call, he be hitting the stanchion. No, no, like, I'm not gonna lie. I think, I, think, I, think, I think Shooter got like that. I'm not gonna lie. I think he got yo. Shooter got like that once he got a new hairline, bro. That hairline made him a new person. That man ain't taking shit from nobody. Did you see him get in with the coach? Yo, did y'all see the game where the dude took a shot at the end of the game and he wanted to fight the dude, but then the next game, <laughs> but then very next game, he was taking shots at the end of the game. The same yeah. Way. That's a fact. Like, this place be hypocritical, bro. Like, that nigga screwed up, bro. I like, like this I guy crazy. From right I knew that, that, I knew that nigga. I, bro, I, first off, I, he came into this league as a backup, and he always has been, bro. The fact that we got him starting just lets me know we ain't really going nowhere, bro. Like if we got him starting next year, but we gonna have to, bro. Bro, who else? I, he better than Ben Simmons. Stop. Wait, who else on that team got a ring? Better than DSJ. Who's the champion? Yeah. Better than Ben Simmons. Who, better yeah, than flat shooters. Wait, yo, you sleeping on shooters? Who else on that team is a world champion, an NBA champion? Shoot, wait, shooters is a champion. What you mean? He won with the Lakers. He, he yeah, with back no I, don't, I don't remember him being on that Lakers team. Hold he on. he won with the Mickey Mouse chip. Hold up, I'm about to see that right now, bro. I don't remember him winning that, winning that with them niggas. Bro. Hold on. That's so why he, he wanted to got, give him a contract. He too. got eight, almost got eighty hold million, up. but he turned it hold down. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold the fuck up. Bro. And remember, he was MVP <laughs> of the World up. Championship. Yeah, I team. understand that. That that nigga. Oh, that you was, know what's crazy, that was, yo? That you know what's crazy, y'all? Hold nah. on, I want to say so, this. So basically, yo, yo, he you know, you know, hold on, I want to say this, Jay. No, Jay, remember no, the, uh, the wasn't Angelo wasn't Russell? Wasn't wait, on hold on, wait, team. wait. Stop for a second. If you was Shooter him, wasn't on that Laker team. If he you wasn't was on him, that Laker team. if you was him, and you um, won the MVP of the world champion, you wouldn't think you was the best yeah. point guard in the world. No, no I'm getting cooked by Halliburton. No, no, uh, I wasn't. Like, said, not when I'm getting cooked. No, exactly. <laughs> no, no, no. And and he's the answer is no, I wouldn't. Because the thing is, it's levels to it. If I became if I became a world champion after seven after just playing seven games in a FIBA tournament, and then I go back or uh, uh, um, uh, go back in the Western Hemisphere and go play eighty two games, and I realize a whole bunch of young niggas is is uh, out here cooking me, bro. Like, and I get my spot taken, man, by a nigga that that a nigga that came from the fucking tangerines, and he was a backup, bro. Like, then then I, then something is wrong. I, nah, I'm not. But J nah, point, but J point is puzzling in itself because isn't the nigga been in the league for years? Even if he did win a he World was a Cup, backup you know. He came in. But when hold on, Leaf. But that's what I'm saying. Even if he knew, even if he was a backup, if he playing for the World Cup, you already know the fucking competition you got to face coming back, nigga. You're not gonna think you number one. This mad of niggas course. at the point guard that's better than you. Exactly. Nah, but hold, hold on. I want to say. I want to say this, bro, because I, I I think you underestimated shooter. Like, yeah, under, shooter is not bad. At, yo, first, mm -hmm. first of all, shooter been in the league for mad long. You know how hard that is to stay in the league, and, and even though he was bouncing around. The Lakers did want to sign him. Not only that, the, um, that hold on, league, hold on. Bro. D'Angelo Russell even said the Lakers coach. He said, "Yo, the yeah. Lakers yeah. coach yeah. favors Schroeder over I me." Just say it ain't that hard to stand. Yes, it yeah. is. Yo, bro, hold on. I yeah. saw. I heard an NBA player say the average NBA player only four years. Schroeder been in the league for like ten years. What is you I talking? Understand about? That. Fact, I and not only that. Hold on, hold on, not only that. Hold on, before you respond, hold on, before you respond, I got one more thing. Stay in the league for as long as Shooter been in the league. That's that not ain't, true. Ain't that hard, bro? That's, I yeah, mean, yeah, it, yeah, hold on, I want to say this too, Lee. Ain't that hard, bro? I want to say, hold on, hold on, I want to say this too, Lee. It's all opinionated, bro. Like, no, Lee, hold on, I want, Lee, I want to say this because we got, we just, we just backing up our space. Hold on, hold on, Lee, hold on, Lee. The only reason why I'm saying, Lee, Lee, bro, Lee. it's mad. Yo, Kai Jones, what happened to him? He wasn't in the league. 
This shit hard. Yeah. No, nah, not now. He back with the Bahamas. Now, now he back, nigga. Now, yeah, now he back. Now he it was hard. hard. It yeah, was so hard for him to get back. Why Kai Jones couldn't stay in the NBA? Yeah, yeah, hey, even John Wall now. said he couldn't do it yeah. no more either. Like, back yo, so I like, but but yeah, some, somebody, 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 I mean, but like when we talk yeah, about John yeah, Wall, when we yeah. talk about Boogie, some of these niggas done made millions of dollars already, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, we talking but about, and we we talking about nigga. He didn't even make four years. I understand that, but listen, we talking about a nigga, bro, that got drafted back in 2013. Ben Gordon didn't even last long either. No, we he, was about like he was he was a serviceable backup, bro. That listen, if you play the role right, bro, like he bro, this shit ain't that hard, bro. Like this oh, bro, a whole, whole bunch bro. of people don't make it. What are you talking about? Ten years. He played from old. Oh, for the I ain't gonna lie, bro. leave. There's plenty of NBA. There's plenty of players out there in the league that think they that won't that will want to show the spot. Don't let Leaf duck this smoke. He said that is. I ain't ducking shit, man. Bro. Bro. Yo, stop, 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 patting this nigga on the back. Now y'all niggas no. getting me tight, bro. Like stop. Bro, all you gotta do is fight him, over, bro. bro. You do. Know. Nigga said it's easy to be in the NBA. No, let yeah, me finish my that's thing. That's a crazy thing. Hey, hey, <laughs> Listen, again, this is what I'm saying. My grandma can make it. Hold on, you, right. you do this every time. Every time I'm trying to make a talking point, you do this every time. And again, I'm debating what you said. You ain't got to do all of that. You said that's easy to do. I said the average life sp career span of an NBA player is four years. Your boy, Kai Jones, didn't even make four years, and you went crazy, bro. So what I'm saying is that's whack, bro. It's whack for you to say it's easy to do a shooter. It's doing. It's not. First off, bro. Listen, listen. It's the, first off, everything is all about everything is all about bullshit perception, bro. Like in in this conversation, bro. Because none of us. Uh, is Kai Jones bro. play for one month. The, 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 the reality is, bro. None of us know how hard it is to stay in the league because we ain't in the league. That's number because one. Because it's hard. It, because it's hard, bro. You know, that's why we not in. Like, <laughs> it's hard, nigga. No. <laughs> that's nah. why, nigga. No. And none no. of us in this easy. None of us. None of us. Let me get Kyrie Irving. Let me get these players. Come on. They pick and choose niggas for this, bro. All you got to do is just play the role. You just got to play the semantics. Like, listen, listen. 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 So, bro, so the average years. players can be NBA players. That's what you're saying. Bro, the nigga Jared Dudley played how many years in the league, bro? Come on, bro. It's, bro, the nigga, uh, 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 it was a nigga from my, Miami, bro, like that just retired at the age of 40, bro. He, he was on the bench for how many years? Because by your explanation, by your explanation, my grandma can play you, her bro. role and be an NBA player. How My grandma long? just gotta play a role and be an NBA player. No, explain no, Kai Jones. Explain Kai Jones if you smart. Kai Jones is not in the league. What you talking about? You talking about? You talking about? We've been out. You, bro, he ain't been out the league for over a year. He back. What yeah, you this mean? Nigga, this nigga leave about the top of me. You saying it's easy? That's all I know. He back on the team. He back on the team, nigga. That's all I know. Name a name a player. I want to hear shit. Reason, all right, so, so if that's about Kai Jones, how about this? Kai I got Jones. you right now. Why Zach Eady not in the in the NBA? Zach Eady, Zach Eady's about to get drafted. Nah, he would if he if it wasn't that hard, he would have got drafted as a freshman. Oh no, nigga, he went back. He yeah. went back for education, bro. He didn't get no time as a freshman. What you talking about? What did he? Because it was hard. Man, you can't say that. Hey, no. The only <laughs> issue with that, the only issue with that statement, Jay, is that niggas like Tim Duncan was drafted first, and that nigga stayed his whole career in college. So we can't say that. Exactly, it's certain bro. reasons. I'm just fucking with this nigga. And niggas just forgetting that. And niggas just forgetting. And niggas just forgetting that Zach Eady played. Zach Eady played behind the bars. Like Bobo played behind us in his second season. Yo, it's, it's hard, nigga. bro. Mm -hmm. Listen, it what, what is, is bro. it is hard though, Leaf. You do got to get especially to be consistent and stay in the league for a long time. That's difficult, it, bro. It, right? It, 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 might, it might be hard. It might be hard for where we stand, bro. But it ain't hard for the niggas that work their asses off to get there, bro, and be in spots and play twenty what plus minutes. What the hell? That's it a contradiction, bro. Thomas. 
No, no, no. What about <laughs> Isaiah Thomas? He was at the top of the NBA one time, and then they did him, bro. He got a 10 well, Boston did him dirty. I ain't gonna lie. He ended up in the fourth quarter. He was crying. He was crying tears of passion bro, because he knew he should have been in the NBA a long time ago. It's I don't hard even know. First off, uh, hold, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Let me say one thing before you go. Leave. I said, I said, let, 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 wait, hold on. Hold on. Let's, 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 let's let it be known. Finish. Let Bree finish God. and let me say one thing before you go. He's got a 10 day contract talking about he back in the league. <laughs> Bro. I was just going to say, as a Nets fan, <laughs> as a Nets fan, you should realize, look how many players was on our team and not in the NBA now. Mike James, KD favorite player, motherfucking Edmund Sumner, motherfucking, I don't know, it's mad. It's niggas. a lot. It's North the Paul, Ronde, 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 Jefferson. Uh, the list goes on, bro. Like, yeah, it's Ronde. a lot of players. And it's not Bruh. even niggas that was dead, dead trash on that. They are Smith. They don't want to bring him back. Like it's a lot of players, bro. He Bless said he wish he could come back. With all, with all, of that, with all, with all of that, Timo Faye Moss guy. Like the list goes on for like yo. And some of them players could go. First off, I hold up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break down all of the players that you just named. The Isaiah Thomas, it that you're talking you know, about, man. he got drafted in 2011, my nigga. He been playing over 25 minutes a game all the way to 20, uh, 2017, bro. And then at, uh, all the way to 2018, bro, when he got to Cleveland that year. And then uh, he said that shit that, uh, yo, the, uh, I ain't never been on a team that never practiced. He just so happened to be on the team with LeBron, and he been uh, searching for minutes ever since. You just got to play the, you just gotta play the, uh, the game off the court, bro. You got to be cordial because as soon as you start, as soon as you start doing crazy, it's a whole bunch of things that go into it. It ain't just the play, bro. Like it, like he said, bro, like it's a plenty of niggas that's nice, but it's you just got to play. But you listen, it's a whole bunch of things, bro. But listen, Boogie played a bunch of years and got uh, uh some money, bro. John Wall played a bunch of years and got some money. All what about Mario just, Thomas? What about Norris Cole, bro? What Mario, about Timo Faye Mazda? What about all, all these players? Mario uh, Thomas played with LeBron, nigga. So, man, them, them niggas is out. He out the league because he called LeBron a bitch. That's why. That's why, bro. As soon as he called LeBron a bitch, bro, how many years did he last? Bro, a couple of years no, on bench. Norris Cole I, never I, called I, him that, bro. Never, he never listen, called him that. I think the fans still didn't reach Schroeder. All those players you mentioned, and they got for how long Schroeder been in the league? It didn't reach Schroeder. It didn't been in the league as long as Schroeder been in the league. Ben, what happened to Ben Gordon? Uh, uh, what's what? Yeah, Ben. Ben, ben, yeah, Gordon, ben Gordon, played Gordon, for, ben Gordon played for the Bulls. Gordon played for ten years. Ben Gordon played for ten years. Yeah, but oh, yeah, Schroeder, Schroeder, Schroeder. Yo, look what happened to Anthony in Houston. He was hooping in Houston, and then they was like, "Uh, you, you don't got to play no more." He like, "What the fuck, bro?" I want to play. Who are you talking about? Carmelo Anthony, man. Carmelo Anthony. He was Carmelo playing with the Houston Rockets, and the Houston Rockets was like, uh. Bro. Another prime Hold on. Another prime example. Like, Yannis Yannis brother wouldn't have been. In this league, bro. Come on, bro. Stop it. That nigga had a long career. Listen, what I'm saying is it was no reason to say that he wasn't ready to play at the level in his 19th year. They oh, it up. Not, not 19th year. That year he was with it on, on Houston. And they just said, nah, we don't want you on the team. And he was NBA ready. So imagine there's players that's NBA ready and they they not in the league. I'm just saying it's not easy. Let me let me let me let me just tell you the truth about that Houston shit. That Houston shit went left. For whatever reason, bro. Uh, just just to remind you, in the ten games that he played, he was averaging twenty nine minutes a game, bro. That's 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 good damn minutes, bro, for a nigga that was uh thirty four years old. The very next year, he went to Portland, bro, and started all fifty eight of the games that he played. And he you don't he believe you leave you know like game, I said it's a lot you know it's a lot of players that didn't make it, bro. bro a, a, lot of, a lot of things, a lot of things about this league, bro. Like most most of what goes on in this league, it's all about who you know and who you appeal to, bro. That's LeBron Mans. You think he's gonna get kicked out the league that easy? Hell no. But not every, but hold on, hold on, Leaf. Uh, the only the only reason why I I dis bro, you gotta be great of the great to like you know last and have longevity, bro. It's a lot of players we can name. Yeah, that, like, bro, I'm not that yeah like like for real, like Tabo <laughs> Cephalosha. You Donis has them just played 20 something years, bro. Stop. Stop. 
stop. Yeah. Yeah, he played, but he was in the bench, bro. He he was a bench warmer. Look, man, listen. All I know is the nigga was around for twenty something years, bro. Like, yeah, like warming he, up the bench, bro. From from I right, put it this way: from two thousand and three all the way to twenty sixteen, bro. All the way to twenty fifteen, bro. He was getting he was getting more than forty something games a season. He was getting more than forty something games a season. He just bro. had the best bro. seats in the game. That's it, bro. He was a fan. Just had the best seats in the game. Hey, hey, but, listen. But listen, the thing is, like I said, it's a lot of players, bro. Said, Pablo Salvalosha, Norris Cole, bro. You don't see these players. Like, I can mention a whole bunch. Timofe Mozgov. The, the players that we don't – the reason why we don't talk about half of these players because we don't know what they are anymore. Like, Aaron Afalo. Look, like, look at yo, Dwight Howard. Like, right? Yo, they said Dwight Howard was on the Warriors, but it was an April Fool's joke. Like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to tell me Dwight Howard can't play? Nah, Nets fans was wilding. They did an April Fool's joke. They said Cam was out for the season. I was like, nah, y'all need to I, listen, I, I, listen, I put it to you like this, bro. It's a lot of situations we could get into, bro, but listen. What, what's going to uh, be my said thing, about- my last thing was My last thing was Struder, too. The only reason why I think Struder is nice, the, even the Lakers. The, so, Aaron, uh, y'all, y'all heard what uh, D'Lo said? D'Lo said his coach prefer uh, Struder over him. It's out. It's public. He, he felt some type of way about that. He felt like he never built a connection with his coach. He always favored Struder over him. I like yo. That's I feel, crazy. I feel like the, yo. D, D, to be bro, fair, like, during that time, he the coach wasn't wrong though. Like if I you look at it on the court, listen, I put it to you. This was thing, the like, better. Uh, uh, one of them niggas that's gonna go out the league swinging, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like it, it, he gonna go out, but he gonna go out swinging for sure. But but at the same time, bro. Like if if you meant you mentioned in a lot of these niggas, you mentioned Norris Cole, Mario Chalmers. He's his own Aaron Ofalo, Aaron Ofalo too. Yeah, Aaron, Eduardo Aaron Ofalo. Nara, bro. I, it's yeah, just yeah. a lot of players, bro. Vince, uh, another Vince Carter, another Vince Carter, y'all know, but it's another Vince Carter, the Nuggets that you don't see. Aaron Ofalo only lasted three years. years uh, Ty league, Lawson, bro. he only lasted a little bit. Um, the, Aaron Ofalo played the, the, 10 years, bro. So so we got to cut out this whole, yo, the average NBA career average uh, uh, is, four, is four years, bro. That shit is probably up by now, bro. Like, it's probably at least up to six. These niggas is playing a lot of years still, bro. Like, oh, no, but on, the bro. thing Let's is, it's a lot of people. Man, niggas, these are no, know. these are no names that you putting up, bro. These people, I bet if we go on the list, I bet you, I bet you they're probably correct. These probably players that we forgot. You can't, you know, you gotta understand. These are new players coming in over and over and over again. Like it's a when I watch basketball, like y'all ever watch like y'all old basketball games. Like for three years, old back, you'd be like, where he's at now? Where he's but at now? Is, you forget you about averages. them. When you do averages, yeah. you got to think about the niggas that play for 20 years, but you also got to think about the niggas that only get a 10-day 10 con- 10 contract once. Right. Mm-hmm. Remember yeah, that dude I'm, that was I'm, that was on that team? He was like seven foot tall. He didn't get no minutes, and he had a 10-day contract. Bro, these dudes, he was just in the league. Like, trust me. Hey, he hey yo. Um, you can even say Taco Fall, too. That nigga, that nigga ain't get burned. I mean, either. I'll be honest with you, bro. Yo, like, I felt like they just did them dirty. 10 day contracts wouldn't happen if it was easy to play. Right? That's I, a listen, temporary I, listen, job, bro. And, 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 that, and, that, and listen, so, oh, you mentioned Taco Fall, bro. Like, like listen. I hope I hope that Zach Eady is not done dirty, bro. Just just off the strength of play style, bro. Because seven foot four, three hundred pounds, bro. Like and, and being that dominant in, Look, in the same area. Look, he stay in school. He about to go be the biggest librarian out there. And, 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 and one last thing, yo. One last <laughs> thing about the one last thing about the conversation too. He ain't Canadian, nigga. He ain't here. The one last thing about the conversation too. It's a fool like everybody else, bro. That's yo. what it is, Jay. Damn. Yo, one last thing about the conversation too. The thing that sucks about basketball is like everybody has already a system in place. So you gotta get lucky to get playing time. First of all, people gotta, gotta get injured. That system. Like, like, like D Rose kind of got lucky to play because somebody got injured, so he he was able to D get Rose his opportunity. Still playing in the league, bro. Like that nigga, bro. He, bro, he ain't been D Rose since 2012. Yeah. So like, and another thing too, like like even Curry, remember um. That dude got injured. Who who got injured for the war? I forgot his name. Um, before Curry came, it was because oh, I forgot Monte that, Ellis. that Monte Ellis. Ma- Monte Ellis. Yeah, like yo, you really gotta get like lucky to get up. Op- like Cam Tommy wasn't supposed to play. Like, and it's already like system in place, so some people can't fit the system, so they gotta leave. It's like 
It, it's just basketball well, tough, Zach man. It's like it to really NBA tough because you can be a great player and not fit the system. Just walking around the streets. You can't. <laughs> what, what other job can you have? <laughs> Stop, bro. Stop it, nigga. He you can't, can't have be... no other job, bro. He can't work at McDonald's. He can't be in Walmart. Listen, I better understand. make it to the NBA. And and, and Listen, some bro, systems, like, and, and some look, systems look, can he, make he, you look he, bad he, too. For all we know, bro. Listen, Monte Ellis played eleven years in this league, bro. He ain't he ain't phasing nothing, bro. That nigga played eleven years and he played fifty plus games almost every single year, except for the years that he was hurt. Uh, um, when he put uh, um, when he got hurt on um, Milwaukee on on Golden State, he played eighty two games, eighty two games, eighty eighty one seventy four. Man, that nigga Monte was oh, dope, no, and, and, and another thing, talking about injuries too, like your injuries ended a lot of careers that we didn't get to watch, unfortunately. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that, yeah, that is true. That is yeah, true. so yeah. like it's just, man, it's, it, it, it's, man, basketball is tough, bro. You can see one player do bad in one system, go in the other, and then you see some people don't get PTO, oh, PTO, my bad, playing time, they just... You, well, you probably have a whole to, talent. You probably out. have a whole talent sitting down. Like you don't. Well, I'm just wait. Hold up. Why well, I'm just finding out that LSU lost. Yeah, they oh, lost. Shit. Oh shit! And they yeah. blaming that shit on Tim Mulkey, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, they yeah they did them dirty. Kalen Clark they, 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 was they, they, crazy they, they, though. Clark, he was forty on them, I think. Yeah, yeah I, he yeah, went wild, bro. I ain't gonna hurt you. I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard about it. Wow, that shit was wild. I heard about it. Juju, like, shout yeah. out to Juju Watkins. I don't, I don't think they won, but she. I heard. I heard. I heard. I heard. Uh, Kate. I heard Caitlin Clark got her gift back. Yeah, she definitely. So they, they 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 was they was shitting on her last year. She took it on the chin though. Like I mean, like, I ain't I ain't got nothing bad to say about that. Listen, the girls' game. Angel Reese had twenty rebounds and seventeen points. Oh, Leaf, like, I meant to I meant to come back uh, to you about that uh, conversation we was having the other day because you. Uh, I saw I forgot what basketball player was talking about the big three talking about it was jail ball or whatever. But at the end of the day, remember I told you it was seven hundred thousand she was about to make compared to the five million? Yeah. It was actually seventy six thousand is about to be her salary compared to yeah. five million. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be her rookie year salary. Yeah. Seventy six thousand compared to five million. The highest, the highest contract. 000. I think the highest contract right now is Diana Taurasi. She make like seven. She make like seven hundred thousand. But seventy six thousand to five. Yo, million. hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, but, but we we gotta remember. Nah, nah, nah. Hold, hold, on, hold on. Before on. you say before before you Come say on, anything. Let me say, let me say this. Oh, oh, nah, nah. Let me say this before you say whatever you say with Bob. Before I was gonna say it. Yo, that shit is huge pressure from again. Before before this big um um the big three or ice ice cube and company right because he got partners they basically he went on a podcast run saying like I ain't got no beef with the NBA I ain't got no issues with them at all as a matter of fact I make sure my schedule don't conflict with their schedule you know right. I'm out of their way if anything I want to do business with them. So for him to do this, this is huge, bro. I'm telling you, I'm covering, I'm I'm covering the big the three. Big three this, this year. Yeah, All right, this bet. I mean, that's fire, breezy. I'm that's with it, bro. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm all in. I'm all in for it, bro. Yeah. I mean, but but I mean, because the reality is, is that I mean, we gotta remember who the like. First off, this girl is from this girl is from Iowa, bro. Like she. She ain't, and I'm pretty sure her family is, is like ain't itching for money like that. She's trying to do everything the right way, bro. Had it been a chick, bro, like from had it been a chick, the WNBA. Yeah, yeah. Had it been a chick, man, from around the way that we know, bro, she probably would have go grab that five million Still, dollars, bro. Because that's how to five million to five million. Yeah, I understand. I understand the gap. I understand the gap. The, the thing that, I thought it know, was seven hundred thousand. You, you know, no, 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 because that's the highest that that's the highest uh, salary in the WNBA, but that's not made. That's but that's true. not going to be made by her. But uh, um, Jay, I understand where you coming from. You thinking, bro, like yo. Hold up, bro. Seventy six thousand, bro. She had to play like how? How many? Because you said the big three, not even a lot of games. How many games is it? The big three is like, I mean, like what? How, how, I want to say, I think thirteen. 
13, uh, 13 games plus, plus maybe a playoff or something. crazy, bro. They play like yeah, one a week, bro. So yeah. You take that 13 and divide that 5 million, how much is that per game? Yo, I don't know, bro. This sounds crazy. To I mean, listen, I, I listen, I listen, listen, listen. Cube, Cube threw the Cube threw it out there, bro. Listen, and this is probably the first time in history that a black person do some do a white person some money, bro. Like, and we and we looking at the white person like, yo, you ain't gonna take that, like, yo, for real. This is history, the first, man. History is made, this is yo. The first time, in yo. I had to think about that, Jay. This is probably the first time. Somebody that that was like in in some sort of power, and, and like that was black, or for somebody that was white, but, some money. But that's some ill shit because Ice Cube is actually the owner of his own league. Yes, he is. Yeah, he, got, he got partners, but he he the face for sure. Yo, listen again. Three on three basketball is exciting. And it's not like they got a bunch of nobodies, quote unquote, over there. I ain't gonna lie, they, they got, got some niggas over there. They got some guys that played in the NBA. They got some niggas over there, bro. They, got they, like still, got, they, still, they still got my mama, dude, Ralph, bro. Like that nigga still cooking niggas, bro. Yo, he yo, like no, no, no offense. offense. Yo, no That's offense so to that big on, three. Just wanna, hold on, I just want to tell y'all where I stand with this. I think the big three is good company for the NBA. I would love to see them do good business together. Right. Oh, now nah, that ain't gonna happen. Yo, that, but that the big three, the yo, the big three gotta big keep three for some reason. Yo, the big three gotta keep the fifty year old players playing because if they get the forty olds, like if Jamal Crawford go up there, bro. He's hooping all of them up, yo. He's still in shape, son. Like I, I think, I think, I think. I, I, the thing is, I think that the big three is going more for certain type of players as opposed to. Players that play that that don't play in the NBA anymore. Now, now I, when I say certain type of players, we saw niggas like Kenya Martin, Ruben Patterson, or, or like a Corey Maggette, those type of niggas. Them niggas come, they they come from a certain era, bro. Where you had to fuck shit up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, bro? They did like you back then. You had to like really f shit up, bro. Like, and you basically like nine times out of ten, if you seen them Portland teams back then, if you seen them. Uh, Nets teams back then, bro. Them niggas, niggas was getting in there. You might have elbowed the nigga in his shit. He didn't like it, bro. Like or, or shoulder the nigga. He didn't like that, bro. Then y'all scrapped during the game. Y'all, y'all niggas didn't mind throwing away that money for throwing away no money just to just to swing off on the nigga. Kenya Martin said it plenty of times. But he was like, "Yo, that's that. doing that now." Is yeah, yeah, I understand. Man. Niggas ain't doing that now, but they still have that mentality. You know, but that's what I'm trying to say. But now, I just want to let y'all know the reason why I'm tuning into the big three is because you know I support a lot of it. I, I like Ice Cube, man. I think he always yeah, shout out to Cube, bro. He always said, great even growing up, his movies was always good. Like I got love for what Cube be doing. You know what I'm saying shout out to um not not only that, but because I I like crossovers, man, and handles. And I think with a three-on-three, -three, it's a lot of space there. So you really got to be a good defender to guard somebody. Or you going to get crossed over, you know what I'm saying? But again, man, I don't want to be long-winded, man. Shout to shout to y'all. That's a whole early stream. I'll start from the beginning. Um, It's late, man. I, I got Cam Thomas for MIP. We didn't even really get to that part much. Um, Yo, you but, just kicked everybody off, and niggas just left one by no, one. I think I think they left. I, I didn't kick them off. I said I thought I had a moderator. <laughs> Yo, niggas just left one by one silently. Right. Ain't say right. Right, nothing. Yeah, no, I think I think they know that when I'll be trying to end the show, it'd be a <laughs> shit. Normally, you be trying to end the show, niggas be trying to talk over you. <laughs> Yo, but I got one more point. Hold on, let me tell you. <laughs> I think they started realizing, like, yo, when Breezy get into this latter part of the monologue, and that's when he fit in the in the show. So let me just, <laughs> yeah, let me just gracefully bow out. <laughs> I'm gonna head out. <laughs> oh man! But right, <laughs> shout out to everybody that was on the panel, man. Y'all know me too well. Um, <laughs> I got love for y'all. Y'all know that, man. Well, I'm gonna start. I want to start the stream with that, man. Um, yeah, nah, man. Shout out to this is JTV, man. This song we got is that's one of my it's my favorite song right now. So hopefully we can get this. You know what I'm saying played on the radio or something on the Brooklyn Nets playlist. Uh, 
yeah, man. Have a good night, y'all. We we gonna link later, man. And subscribe to Just J TV, and if you're watching, subscribe Please to my too. channel. Too. Peace, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's my time, man. You watch me like a can, cause it's my time switch. They can't guard me, especially side the Barclays. Spin between crosses, so I can score with both hands. Many flawless, and I get to paint like an artist. I'm a ball smith, so you should respect my handle. I see the big picture with the nets like a mantle. In the future, I see us in Shamsu. And when we do, I'ma do a Brooklyn dance move. The stir that whole Millie rock like a fan do. That's a bet like my parlay on fan do. B R O O K.